Here comes the Kiwi. Don't let the appearance fool you. Dakota Kai will kick your face clean off your head. Yeah, I gotta admit, in short order, I have become a huge fan of Dakota Kai. She's been on WWE's radar for a long time before being signed to the NXT roster. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. How big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. Here comes the war goddess. Her entrance is just as unique as her offensive playbook. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. Big time tag team match underway here. Guys, there's nothing like a good old fashioned tag team match. Oh boy. Is that number power oh, oh, oh. Going for the cover. She goes for the cover. And the shoulder's up. Not yet. What a stop! Good grief! Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, right to the side of the face. 
She might have it. She better do something fast. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. There's the tag. Double Irish whip. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. Tag, and here comes his partner. And this is not going to be good for their opponent. Oh, what a scary drop. And it's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat floundering some. But you certainly cannot count her out yet. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. Or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a... She's looking at it. She better do something fast. When it comes to Ember Moon, one thing's for... And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Targeting the back. Very effective. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Oof. Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Oh, man, Dakota Kai just barely got out of the way. I have to agree with what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's debut. She made her presence felt on day one and never looked back, beating some pretty big names in the process. Yeah, anytime you could say you defeated the likes of Shayna Baszler and Ruby Riot, you know you're legit. Irish whip. Handstand. Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. Nice. She goes for the cover. You're not going to get her that easy. She's a warrior, guys. Dakota doesn't give the impression of being hard-hitting, but she's constantly showing the women's division that her kicks contain the thunder from down under. She's got her in her sights. I don't think she should challenge her. She might have it. Whoa! If I was Papa Shango, I would not be behaving like this. Michael, you described Dakota's kicks as thunderous. I don't think a lot of girls would be prepared for how hard she can actually hit. In fact, Kai's vicious strikes have made her the captain of Team Kick. Yeah, and she'll kick you. She hits it! Dakota Kai brings everyone to their feet! What's gonna happen now? Oh, look at this! Oh, kicks! Got the uh -oh. leg hooked. The old... <laughs> Ember Moon is getting ready. Not sure she has enough time, but she's still battling. Look at the impact. Incredible.
Oh man, Dakota Kai just barely got out of the way. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. She is on fire. Kicking it out of that man. Used up her last bit of energy. Woo. Nailed it. And Ember Moon, too quick. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams made a two out of three. Here's a cover. One, a kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Can you believe this? Oh, nasty impact. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme. She goes for the cover. One, two, kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Wow, I am impressed. Kai is the first ever New Zealand woman to reach this level for a reason, Corey. Her speed and her rapid striking ability makes her a threat. Yeah, Dakota Kai's style is very quick and evasive, and it's almost an element of surprise how speedy Dakota is in the ring. She isn't easy to slow down, but that should be her opponent's first goal. And Ember Moon, too quick. Evaluating Dakota Kai's offense, we mentioned how the Kiwi is an elusive target, but we also have to detail her striking more, Byron. You would think Dakota's kicks would get weaker as the match goes on, but really, they only get stronger. Irish whip! Handstand! Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. She's got it now. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. Harsh impact. And she's toying with her now. That's it. That's what she needed. She hits it. Dakota Kai brings everyone to their feet. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. She's getting closer. Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Using the elbow as a weapon. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry chief and Zagiri finds its mark. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. That could procure the win for Papa Shango. She goes for the cover. This one is over. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. Now you just got to take the win and build off it. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible.